Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I want to record a quick video to show you how to set up um, your own version of, of the Hike Audit Tool. Because it's fully white label, meaning that you as an agency can set it up under your own branding and use it to create your own reports or send your own prospective clients to it and to sell SEO to those guys. So we try to make this as simple as possible to help you sell more SEO. So this is what it's going to look like. But let me tell you the process first of how to actually get set up. So the actual product itself is available to Hike white label users. So you need to be a Hike white label user to have access to it. Now, to sign up for Hike white label, you just need to log into Hike at my.hike.marketing, go to your settings, go to your business settings, and it's this URL, for slash agency, for slash business, and you have the ability to upgrade to unlock white label. Now, this will give you access to all Hike's white label features as well, which means that you can fully brand the platform. But what it means now is that also included within that cost, which is £20 a month or $25 a month, US dollars a month, you'll also be able to white label the audit tool as well. So once you've upgraded to white label with a hike, then what you need to do is head over to hike.seohealth.co forward slash register forward slash agency. Then what you can do is you can register for your agency account on the audit tool. So enter your email, and the same email that you use for your Hike account, as in your name, password, and the name of your agency, and press create agency account. That's then gonna set you up on the audit tool for you to white label that as well. And here's one I made earlier. So I've called it Andy's SEO. So before I show you the actual results and what kind of data you can get from it, what first thing you'll need to do is head over to the agency settings page. Here is where you add all of your own white label details. So, this includes many different things to make sure that you can get the most out of it. First, you need to add in your agency information. So as a test, um, uh, as an example, I've put in the company name for my agency, which is Andy's SEO. You need to put in your email address, your phone number, and your website URL. Um, this box here requires phone number on register. What you can do is you can have prospective clients register and use the audit tool without you getting involved, which is brilliant if you just want to send your traffic there. You can actually, on that registration page, ask for their phone number as well, and then that gives you the ability to, to get your sales team or yourself to, to call up those who are using the actual audit tool and sell them your SEO services. And then you can set up your own custom subdomain. So the actual audit tool is on seohealth.co, and you can choose what you want your custom subdomain to be. So I've set mine up as Andy my agency is Andy's SEO. So I'll set up as andy.seohealth.co. You can choose whatever you want as your agency name or however you want to brand up this platform. Moving further down, you can add all your brand images. So I've added in some example logos. As you can see, they appear within the platform and within the exports. So you can add in your different logos. And then you get your uh, default content, which is going to appear within the audit. I'll show you that a bit more in a second. And you can have call to action buttons and you can decide what call to action you want to have. You can also upgrade to unlimited audit credits. So for the £20 slash $25 a month, which gives you access to this tool, as well as the white label, uh, the regular white, white label features, that gives you 25 credits a month, which means that you can run 25 um, audits, website audits per month. If that's not enough for you and you want more than that, let's say you're going to put it on your website and have a link to it and you want to have have an unlimited amount of credits, run a limited amount of audits, you could upgrade uh, for additional $25 or £20 on top of that first price. Okay, cool. So what you do then is you'll see there's an audits page. This audits page is going to show you all of the audits that have been run on your platform, whether you've run them yourself or whether customers have signed up and run them as well. So you can see here as the name of the website, it has a user. So if a customer registers, um, to it. So for example, now I have my own register page that I can send customers to. So if I go to andy.seohealth.co and I put it into here. Oh, just make sure I've got that. And then I click register. This is a page that I can now send to my customers or link from my website to get people to directly do this. It's got my logo, it's so a little call to action, and claim you free audit and ask for their information. And like I said before, if you want their phone number and you tick that, it'll also ask for their phone number as well. Let's move over to this tab here. 
Okay, great. So for each of the audits that are in the platform, whether you create themselves or customers register and do it themselves, it will show you it listed on this page, it will show you the amount of views that they've had. So this is really important. If there's someone that's viewing the audit over and over again, you know they're really interested in SEO. So you want to you want to speak to them, you want to reach out to them. Or alternatively, if they've not viewed it very much, then they just probably haven't got the time to do SEO, which means they're interested, but they just don't have the time, which again is a great opportunity for you to get in contact and say that you can offer your services to them. Uh, you can manually add an audit. So if you want to run an audit to send it to a client, you don't want them to register and log in and do it themselves. You want to send it. You click the add audit. It will take you through the process of creating an audit. Um, or alternatively, you can send people the register page and they can do it themselves. And let me just show you what it looks like. So then if you click on view audit, this is the information you get on a per website basis. So on the very first page is your main audit and the audit results. And this is what it looks through. Uh, looks like. I ran the hikeseo.co website for it, just as an example. And um, so at the top, it will have the name of your client's website. You'll have this content here. Now you can you can customize this content. You can have um, template content that will be at the top of every single report that you set up on your settings page, or you can actually edit the content bespoke on every single audit. So if you wanted to send this to someone, you might be like, hey John, uh, this is Andy from Andy's SEO. I want to send you over this audit as discussed earlier. You can do that at the top of the report and at the bottom, you've got two content sections. As we move down, you have screenshots of the website, so you can see how it looks on desktop and on mobile, crucially. You get an overall SEO score. The higher the score, the better. The lower the score, that means they need more SEO work. And it's all been based on five different areas that we track. Keyword rankings, uh, their on-site SEO performance, how they compare versus the competitor that they add in, uh, their page speed from both a desktop and mobile point of view, and the, the quantity and quality of the backlinks they've got. And it goes into each detail for each, uh, each of these more. Now, keywords are really, really important. So we track, we show you the keywords that they rank for, which is super important when it comes to SEO. When you want to sell SEO to clients, you need to show them how they're ranking for keywords that are important to them. Because you can immediately show them, hey, you're not ranking for this service, this product that's super important for you in this location, you need SEO help. And that's that's the big trigger for clients when they want to sign up. They need to be shown not just technical issues, you know, you've got broken things, you need to update elements, that's important, but they need to be shown that they're not visible in Google at the moment. And you can show them the keywords they rank for, you can choose some keywords, and if you click that button, you can see all of the keywords that they rank for. So it's a great visibility to show the customer. Uh, we bring back on-site actions, just like in the Hype platform. We bring back actions for three pages that you add in. So again, great to show the client, uh, the prospective client, hey, here's some immediate things you need to get fixed right now. But if you sign up, there's going to be even more that, you could, that we can do for you. Um, comparison versus a competitor. So you can plug in a competitor and we'll show you how you compare in terms of the number of keywords you rank for compared to them, how much estimated traffic that you both get, and how many backlinks they've got compared to you. So you can immediately say, hey, Against this top competitor, your SEO is weaker. We need to start working on that. Page speed, so we hook up Google Page Speed Insights and we pull back the page speed score. Um, so we'll show you both for desktop and mobile. Mobile, obviously important for Google, desktop important from a user experience point of view. And then we'll bring back some top actions that Google recommends that, um, that they need to do in order to improve their page speed. And then finally at the bottom, we show them backlinks as well. So we'll pull through their top six backlinks uh, and also on the competition page, the competitor page, we'll show them um, their competitors' top six backlinks, six backlinks and all of their competitors' keywords as well. So you'll find that by clicking these buttons underneath. So you'll always see view all. So if I click, uh, let's do it on the competitor bit, and if I go to there, view all data, if I click this button, it will take me through to a more detailed page with results around my competitor, just like we do in Hike, but slightly more restricted. So it shows you all the keywords that competitor rank for, and it shows you some of their top backlinks. And you'll find on each of these pages, whether it's on that main audit page or these internal pages, there's always a call to action button. Now you can choose whether that wants to be there or not. You can decide whether you want there to be a call to action button so you can convert someone straight from it, or whether you don't want that to be the case. If you do, you can choose what page you want it to go to. So direct it to a landing page on your website where it talks about your services, your pricing, and they can sign up. Or you can do it so it's an email and you can choose what uh, actual content you want. So I've put sign up now, you could do uh, click here for a call, uh, send us an email, uh, find out more, whatever you want for the call to action.
Now just let me go back to the audit page and show you the ways that you can share this with the client. So some of your clients, you'll send them the register, they'll do all of this themselves, but some you might just want to do it for them and then send it to them. You have two options. You can, one, you can send them a public link, a HTML link that they can view um, on their desktop, on their mobile. It's fully responsive, so they'll be able to view it on the go, whether they're on their mobile or they're at desktop in the office. Um, or you can export as a PDF and send it straight to them. Again, um, all ways in which it should be, uh, we're making it as easy as possible for you to be able to create this report, whether yourself or your clients do it themselves, to be able to sign them up straight through there through call to action buttons um, and being able to share it with prospective clients as well. So yeah, that, that's everything. Hope you found that clear. If you've got any questions, give us a shout. And um, we look forward to helping you um, sell more SEO, whether to your existing clients or to new clients. Brilliant. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.